And here we go. We are in hour 10. Hour 10 of 24 terrible hours. That is a double digit number. That's, oh, that's halfway, right? Is that halfway? That feels no, like No, it's halfway. not halfway. Shut Almost up, halfway. dog. You're not halfway. It's dog. Uh, but uh, the last hour obviously didn't happen. Uh, I don't remember it anyway. Which means we're not even close <laughs> to halfway. <laughs> oh, I remember okay, that last no, hour. Yeah, it's weird that the stream just went black for a whole hour and did nothing. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so now, uh, in the uh, in the room tonight, I've got uh, or not in the room now. In the room now, I've got uh, Bump Girl. Hi, I'm Boots Rain Gear. <laughs> I've got Frank West. Hey, good to be here for the first time this stream. Haven't <laughs> yeah, haven't no, been here yet. I've got Stog. Hi, I'm Boots Rain Gear. And I've got Zarla. Hi. Um, and uh, we are going to be reading uh, Red Lake fan fiction. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> uh, no, actually, I love Russia. Actually, we uh, we have the return of uh, we have the return of Creepypasta, uh, a document <laughs> provided to us by Trav. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, sorry. A document for oh god, it's all running together. It's all falling <laughs> apart. Okay. So the one. document was provided by Puppy Time. Our artist right now is Trav. And and it's all fine. That's the thing, is that it's all fine. Um so uh Starly, you like creepy pastas, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, why don't you start us off? Uh, we're gonna be going to Deviant Art. And, uh, yeah, why don't you tell us uh, about the creepypasta called Hellraiser. <clears throat> By Dark Toby 123 my alter ego. <laughs> Let's see. I walked slowly along the forest and saw a person approximately 20 feet in front of me stood there, stared at me, and I stared at it. After a minute of staring, it slowly walked up to me and laughed mistake, and I tried to run, but it was not like I was nailed. It went to me, and it, I looked at his legs and noticed that the plants which touched burned. I grabbed the knife out of his pocket, but read it fall when I saw on his arm. And that wasn't a period, by the way. That was just no. a, like a paragraph break. Yeah, you just need to take a breath. There is a capital letter here, though. I mean, that's the yeah. first. <laughs> his arm began to burn and he pointed to me when he was only one step in front of me a comma which is the most shocking thing in the story so far <laughs> I began to sweat he touched with the hand burning my upper arm <laughs> this is interesting punctuation mm -hmm. I ah cried painfully then a bunch of dots <laughs> one minute after he touched my arm so I <laughs> took a while to filter through. His mouth formed a great big smile. His teeth were razor sharp. Iris was blood red, the lady Iris. And his hair was dyed his like a fire. He was wearing a red t-shirt and red trousers that goes up to his knees and his black shoes were stained with blood. He grabbed my arm with the non-burning hand and lifted me up. Feel the pain I feel, moose. He said with a somewhat serious voice. <laughs> they said more like, feel the pain I feel, must. Must is German, I'm pretty sure. Somewhat yeah. serious. Somewhat serious. Feel the pain I feel, must. Something like that. What do you mean, Dammy? I stopped when I saw how the hand was holding my arm, which began to glow. There's all the periods. My eyes widened and it began to ache. <laughs> he chuckled as he saw my face. Ah! The pain overcame me. <laughs> More runway periods. I cried when he saw he laughed and said, Mistaken, I grill you alive. My arms caught fire. And if he let me fall, I tried to extinguish the fire. But it was not... The last thing he said before I passed out was... <laughs> <laughs> what? what was it? What is it? I am Hellraiser. <laughs> He oh. put me in the ground, under fire, <laughs> in which three days later a burned body was found yesterday by the fire. <laughs> in, the, in a fire rescue patrol. In a forest on the corpse of a true fingerprints unknown person. Well, I don't think it's appropriate to make the turn Woody Woodpecker into the guy from Hellraiser, so <laughs> until a Cenobite. <laughs> the, classic, the classic quote from Hellraiser, the movie. I am yeah. Hellraiser. He, right, he. Which, which is weird because it's not actually his name. <laughs> <laughs> his name is Hellraiser, right? <laughs> Auto text generators? It's <laughs> 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 
Uh, the neural network's getting really good. Yeah, this is this is better than the Hellraiser in space, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hellraiser, that one was missing the, uh, Hellraiser the... but this time it's on DeviantArt. Yeah, yeah, it's right. Yeah, there is no S in Hellraiser. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a Z. There's a Z in Hellraiser. Hellraiser. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the uh, the the Hellraiser in space ends with a guy who has a, a a piston that's jamming in and out of its own of his own head, and he goes, <laughs> "It's better than sex." Um, <laughs> that's what you're gonna say. It's gonna be with Jason in space, <laughs> <laughs> and they can all meet together with like Leprechaun in space too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Leprechaun versus. Freddy versus Jason versus Hellraiser. <laughs> Who gives a it's shit? Dave. <laughs> uh, Stog, what's uh, what's your creepy pasta called? Uh, my name is uh, Deggy Fridu. <laughs> I think that's what that's how I call that's how I pronounce my name. I have like three or four different pronunciations. Deggy Frido. <laughs> Deggy Frido. Deggy Frido. Da da da. Deggy Frido. Deggy Frido. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Anyway, this is my this is my first attempt at a creepy pasta. I even went to the writing tips section on the wiki to help. I hope I did well. This is called Stilt Dog. Okay, okay, we'll see we'll see how that we'll see how that wiki that wiki did for you. It's a scary thought. When I was young, an alien would visit me every night. I don't know why I automatically assumed it was alien. I knew instinctively that it wasn't a supernatural or earthly creature. I would <laughs> dread its appearance because it gave off a cold, malevolent aura, despite the fact that its presence caused an unbearable warmth in my room. It was always in the form of a white dog-like creature with legs like stilts. <laughs> I named it Stilt Dog. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Succinct. I, I've heard weird first naming conventions. That's a that's a deviant art quality name. <laughs> I thought it was Boy, the username at first. Please do not steal. <laughs> For the first month or so, Stilt Dog watched me with those large, intelligent eyes sitting off to the side of my bed. It always emitted a constant sound that was a mixture of radio static and white noise. Always. Yeah. <laughs> Stilt dog never moved from its position until its disappearance at dawn. One night, Stilt dog spoke to me in a language I couldn't understand or identify. Unlike Only she. <laughs> yeah, perfectly comprehensible. <laughs> I don't speak static, you stupid dog. Go away. <laughs> Only she wasn't using her mouth. I could hear her voice in my head. No, I was screen. picturing like sock puppets. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pet dot. It's the pets dot com puppet. It's found work. And there you go. Finally, <laughs> the strange tongue lulled me to a fretful sleep every time. A few weeks later, stilt dog spoke to me in my native language, Spanish. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, I couldn't understand a word or two every other minute. She had used a dialect that was no longer recognized. I always felt like she was soothing me despite her threatening air. <laughs> I was 12 when Stilt Dog marked me. Hey, it's last hour! <laughs> no, there was no such thing. It didn't happen. <laughs> I remember walking up to a dull, waking up to a dull burning pain in my back, coupled with the sensation that both warm and cold, <laughs> I reached behind myself to inspect the area and traced a rubbery, intricate scar. Underneath my fingers, I felt blood that was scar. nearly dry. Like artisanal scar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the kind of scar you get from, you know, um, having play fights in your grandfather's old, uh, old barn. <laughs> <laughs> I got this scar from a from a mason jar I bought on Etsy. <laughs> it's a bespoke scar, thank you. <laughs> Underneath my fingers, I felt blood that was nearly dry. I felt cold fear rise in my stomach and I leapt out of bed, nearly careening into stilt dog. <laughs> Her never blinking owl eye studied me. <laughs> I was ready to collapse with fear, 
panic and the intense heat that was radiating from the creature. When my gaze shifted downwards, I noticed that one of Stilt Dog's claws was dark with blood. I remember begging her to erase the scar to leave me alone and get out of my life. Amidst my pleading, Stilt Dog had lowered her head so that her burning blue eyes were level with mine, and in perfect modern Spanish, she, she said, You'll never be free of me. <laughs> she said, That doesn't sound like that was Spanish. That sounds like English to me. That, You'll that, never oh, that's be modern free Spanish is English. It's like, a, it's like a fucking Futurama joke. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll never be free of me, cabron. Ooh, that, was <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> uh, they said they went looked up tips. I wonder if one of the tips was make sure to give your monster a really stupid name. <laughs> or like like write in three different languages. <laughs> English and, and, and Spanish by italics and um, static. Boy, the dog's eyes are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's got a little sombrero! <laughs> Aww, what a cute silk dog. I will have to say, you, you missed... Mustache. It should be bow wow to my stilts, please. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, oh definitely. Yeah. Uh, let's which, which one? Which one? This one? Yeah, that one's fine. <laughs> that one's fine. <laughs> Alright, uh, so, uh, Bump Girl... Bump girl. Oh, thank Bump you. girl. Uh, this creepy pasta is from creepypasta.com, which is very exciting. It's canonical Ooh, it's now. <laughs> that sounds delicious. <laughs> and uh, it is called Faucet. Oh, that's not the username? <laughs> that's the it's type. <laughs> okay, yeah, no. it is backwards from the last one. Okay. By, it's by Faucet. It's by Jordan. Uh, Faucet by Faucet, a.k.a. Jordan. Yeah, I don't know, and then and then the actual meta title is is derp butt. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. I would I would much rather read a creepy pasta called derp butt. <laughs> okay, I derp just... butt sat by my bed each night. <laughs> I want to let everyone know that the estimated reading time for this post is zero minutes thirty eight seconds. So I'll see if I can beat that in one way or another. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many? What's the, what's luck. the rating? What's the rating for your creepy pasta? <laughs> Send to Insta paper. Send to a pocket. Send to readability. Four red stars. Ooh, out of right. ten. Out of ten. <laughs> out of ten. It's not. Yes. Out of five hundred ninety-one votes. Five hundred ninety-one is an incredible number of votes for thirty-eight seconds worth of words. I love that. I love that. On the sidebar here is an age-sensitive content warning, yes. which should read: <laughs> You must be on under fourteen to find these good. Consider this an R-rated website. If you are under eighteen. Curated. Created and curated with an 18 plus audience in mind. <laughs> you must show your parents this website and ask for their permission for browsing. <laughs> <laughs> this is Who does actually say story. that? Yeah, that's not that's a quote. If you are a parent and have discovered this site in your child's browsing history, please visit the FAQ for a better idea of what this site is about. Oh, it wonderful. won't help you. Oh. What does my kid oh, want me to read now? A stupid so creepy good. pasta site. Whatever. Just just do better in school, okay? Well, hopefully this won't take more than thirty eight seconds of everyone's lives. I think it actually has probably taken double that by now and I haven't even started reading it. Okay. Let's go. Um officially and you're home alone. It is a oh, no. stormy night. <laughs> and the power went out. You hear strange noises coming from upstairs. Drip, drip, drip. Probably just the faucet, you think. <laughs> drip, drip, drip. There it goes again. You run up the stairs and turn the faucet completely off. In the dark? <laughs> yes. You're gonna fall over. It's dangerous. You walk. You walk. It's okay. Look, safety first. You walk back downstairs. That's good. I feel better now. And By the way, sit on the Fred couch. Uh, Trav here uh, somehow somehow guessed that the faucet would have blood coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we haven't gotten any spoilers, Trav. You're ruining everything. My you're ruining seconds the of ambience. Fame are ruined. <laughs> so we're just gonna pretend that we weren't completely spoiled on this and go back to sit on the couch waiting for the storm to pass over. 
your mm. phone loudly vibrates beside you and you receive a message from an unknown number. Drip, drip, drip. Your phone <laughs> <laughs> I can text it. You can't even use emojis? Come on. Oh, Milton is calling drop again. Emoji. I gotta block him one of these days, but I don't have the heart. <laughs> Scared, you reply. Who are you? With no answer. But like out loud, you should have. <laughs> well, it's in quotation marks, so in theory, it's out loud. Uh, you hear it again. Drip, drip, drip. You run upstairs and turn the faucet off. Which already happened. Done, done, done. I, I guess it turned back on. You, but you then receive another text. You should have turned your phone off. <laughs> drip, drip, drip. Oh my god. It's scarier every time. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the last two times it's been in quotes, and the first time it wasn't. <laughs> By this point, you are confused and scared. Oh my god, it's yeah. the first true thing that's happened. <laughs> you throw safety out the fucking window and run downstairs no curl up on the sofa in fear and call the number <laughs> what unknown yes. number mean there isn't a number it's an unknown you call you call, you call the unknown? number you type in yeah, you call u n k n o w n <laughs> you call the drip you call the drip hotline 1-800 drip 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 ring ring Ring. It answers. Who are you? You ask. <laughs> you hear it through the phone. <gasps> <gasps> drip, drip, drip. <laughs> the end. The ghost of the leaky faucet is haunting me forever and more. The end. Wow, that was no fucking blood. scary. The spoilers were wrong. Oh my god, you're right. The spoilers that was rated, were wrong. That was rated four stars. Can I can I hear someone read the first comment? <laughs> this one makes me want to pee. This one wasn't very creepy and awfully short. I think I can see potential in it if you expand on the story. That's just my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the users he has commented on the story is the user's name is But Who Was Phone. <laughs> there are a lot of those comments in this one. <laughs> Just question marks. A lot of internet smartasses in here. I don't approve of it. No, 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 no. It's None of that. disgusting. <laughs> Moral filth. Uh, Frank, what's, what's, the negative uh, what's comments. I like this one. <laughs> uh, Frank West, what's your story called? My story is called The Dead Skull. <laughs> estimated reading time. The estimated reading time is 19 seconds, so I'm going to try and hit that. No, all right, I'm sure you will. I bet you think that all these stories are pretend, but guess what? This one is for real. <laughs> I know. Well, I know because I'm looking at you and I know all of your secrets. I even know your favorite animal. One day I looked at you in the bathroom. Maybe I will break something and tell everybody it was you. There is nothing you can do to stop me, but guess what? I am a dead skull. <gasps> this has made it four stars. Point one more stars than the last one. It has 2,000 <laughs> votes. <laughs> that's over 2,000 votes. Over 2,000 votes. So that's like four times the number of votes. <laughs> Uh, all right, it is time. Uh, it is time now for a choice uh, <laughs> document once again provided by uh, Puppy Time. Puppy and, Time, uh, and uh, we've got a choice here. So uh, Zarla, uh huh. <laughs> uh, your uh, option number one is called Creepy Pasta: Colon Addicted to Games. It's <laughs> <laughs> a frightening thought. Uh, and the uh, second uh, story, somewhat related, is called Parappa the Killer. <laughs> well, don't pick the, the first one. Our, our listeners won't be able to identify with that. <laughs> uh, you know, I feel like 
I feel like the second one is making me really curious. All I right, want right. to know the story. Parappa the Killer. Uh, you're going to have to uh, read this out of the document because DeviantArt uh, has taken it down, apparently. <gasps> I wonder why. Oh, no. Was... Too scary for DeviantArt. Uh, so page uh, 13 there in the... actually. Page 13 <laughs> there in the document, Parappa the Killer. Let's see. <clears throat> by Shinu Films by JT Pictures. <laughs> It's by two Pro things, okay. <laughs> I guess it was a collaborative effort. Let's see. The narrator's friend, Jason, introduced him to the Parappa the Rapper game. <clears throat> uh-huh. I had an urge to play the whole game after I left Jason's house. I knew I didn't have an opportunity to go to his house again today to play the game, so I decided to go tomorrow. The next day, I woke up and ran to my friend's house. I tried to open the door, but it was locked. <laughs> Okay. That's shocking, I guess. <laughs> I then discovered that my friend must have moved away from the house last night. Ooh. Breaking and entering. He really is my friend, though. He really is, I swear. <laughs> so having the urge to play, I... <laughs> I drove my bicycle to the local game store with my allowance money. When I got there, I looked in every shelf for the game. I finally found it in the corner of the store. I grabbed it and gave it to the cashier. I was feeling lucky to the fact that this was the only copy left in the whole store. I paid for it and drove home as fast as I could. I don't believe this was written, written in 2013. <laughs> <laughs> Capitalism is scary. <laughs> I got home. I then ran to my room and started the game. When the start screen showed up on my television screen, something was slightly off. When I played the game with Jason, I remembered the start screen showing the rapping dog. Jason told me his name is supposed to be Parappa. I don't think dancing Jason really exists. <laughs> I think that's going to be a surprise to this. He was dancing or doing this jig in the middle of the screen. <laughs> ham boning. My start screens contained the title and copyrights, but showed no dog. I decided not to care and played on. <laughs> the game I wanna, somehow. I want to say briefly, uh, looking over at the stream, uh, Trav, that could be <laughs> like a a very expensive sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> the game sell Absolutely. that in New York for like sixty five dollars. <laughs> Absolutely. I hope we block screen caps because now everyone is going to take that and they're going to take that idea lemon and then oh you're not going to make totally. any money off of this. I'm not going to make any money from this regardless. <laughs> it's a real twist. Let's see. So the game somehow skipped through the whole intro and directed me immediately to the first level. I then knew something was very wrong. There was no onion sensei and dog in the dojo. The dojo was empty and all I could hear is the music, but not the rapping. You have to nightmare. make the rapping yourself. <laughs> Yeah, you have to rap into the microphone. <laughs> it's a very rap, creative, rap collaborative into the game. Phone. Rap, rap, rap into the microphone. It was the same all throughout the next four levels. Missing characters That's and ongoing really music. Boring game. Yeah, how would you keep playing? <laughs> the, there's just empty screens and like background music. But missing characters and ongoing music played without any rapping. When I made it to the last level, what I saw was disturbing. I saw all of the characters all piled up on the stage. The characters had their eyeballs pulled out, intestines pulled out through their buttholes, and bullet holes all over their bodies. Then behind the pile of carcass was a rapping dog holding an axe in one hand and a knife in the other. The camera then zoomed into his face. His face was also missing eyeballs, and he had sharp teeth having realistic blood. I'm kind of picturing, like, the camera clipping through his head. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he pointed the knife at the camera and said, You're next. Oh, like, no! You're next not what? me! Not, oh, not no, my not next. My <laughs> After that, everything went black on the television. I was then directed to the start screen minutes later. The sky screen now showed the <laughs> dog. sat there staring at a black screen for several minutes? Just thinking, like, I don't know what I'm going to rate this game. I just, I don't know. But the start screen now showed the dog doing his jig and looking normal. <laughs> Hello, I am the dog. I do my jig. This is a normal jig. This is a normal jig. I am a dog and this is my jig. <laughs> At this point, I was crying my eyes out, scared on what I just saw. I ripped the game out, broke it in two, and threw the game away. Until this day, I will never play a music game ever again. I just noticed at one point in the chat, Lady Frenzy saying, "You creepy pasta and awful." <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cake punch. It's all the skeleton popped out. No. <laughs> so, sensei, my skeleton fell out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, IGN only gave this a 7 out of 10. <laughs> um, I, uh, man, I, 
I I can't believe that like I brought home a video game and then it was scary. <laughs> it's just a well that they keep going back to. It's like ninety percent. I tell you. I, I mean, there are so many like games. Chekhov's Jason. <laughs> I bought a haunted Mario Brothers, and Mario flipped me off! <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get away from that whole trend. So, Frank West, what is your story called? Mario Kart 666. Oh no! <laughs> oh boy, these thrills are getting out of hand. <laughs> Mario Karts. Oh good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay go ahead. <laughs> this one has the pain bow road. <laughs> I, was a angry. I was angry at Nintendo. My favorite character from the Mario series was knocked off from Mario Kart 7. You mean Mario? What a man. Uh, they had him whacked. Um, well, her name yeah. is Wario Girl, but apparently it's Waluigi. So, oh. <laughs> gotta work on your brand, lady. <laughs> I was actually annoyed and a little hurt, but of course, what else could I do? The only way they would listen to me and many Waluigi fans is buying money. Oh, so I couldn't just not buy Nintendo, the game. Nintendo, you used obviously. to be about the Waluigi. <laughs> 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 Get Waluigi, get paid. <laughs> After Mario Kart 7's release, I dismissed its existence. I didn't like it, and I didn't want it. That was my problem, of course. But it got me wondering why. Why would they do such a thing and replace Waluigi with many useless characters such as a goddamn Wiggler and Metal Mario? Oh, Christ. Jesus Christ. This is how an MRA is born. <laughs> you know what I thought of? It was possibly because they hated Waluigi. Nope. How wrong Definitely. I was. Definitely not. <laughs> A few months passed, and I was tempted to buy Mario Kart DS. I used to play it many times with my friends, but I never owned the game myself. I got connected uh, my old DS with them and joined them as a shy guy. We had fun, but Waluigi was missing from the equation. And what is life? What is life without a Waluigi? <laughs> I thought it was about time I gave my DS a little more attention. Oh no! I no. went searching for a Mario Kart DS. What, a second I one? I bought one. No. Are you scared yet? <laughs> wait, why do you need two Mario Kart DSs? What's going on? Yeah, I'm gonna wait. make them kiss. Uh, okay, Can well, I you see, the thing is. DS with them you played as a shy guy, even though they didn't have Mario Kart DS. They want like yeah, an actual Mario Kart, Mario, guys, 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 Mario Kart DS had a feature where you, if, as long as one person had the card, they could connect with their friends, and all the friends could play too, but everybody had to play shy guy, and there was a limited set of tracks. That's spooky! Oh. <laughs> That's really spooky. I'm scared. <laughs> Sorry. Game I mean, design is scary. Mario Kart. <laughs> Kurt DS had a special. <laughs> 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 oh, my name is Dracula. Would you like to play some Mario DS? Play, play. <laughs> my shy guy had no eyes. Oh, wait, that's normal. <laughs> Welcome to Spooky Did You Know Gaming. <laughs> I bought one secondhand from a game store and was eating to play on it. <laughs> no, it's not I, cursed. No, I'm sure it's. I took it out, played it, and it was normal. <laughs> <laughs> but when I took the cartridge out of the case, it was a simple black slab, a typical <laughs> DS game bearing a white label. On the label, in blue handwriting, was Mario Kart 6. Speaking of tropes. <laughs> How peculiar, I thought. Perhaps the owner lost the sticker of the original game, or perhaps it was a fake. Perhaps he's okay. dead! <laughs> so, like, no, this like, is just a horror story about game like... trade-ins. <laughs> Why did I buy that off the street? <laughs> Perhaps the owner to be lost the sticker of the original porn. game. <laughs> or perhaps it was a fake. Hoping to prove myself wrong about the false game, I grabbed my DS and inserted the game in. I was greeted by a typical theory. <laughs> 
I have noticed that it announced the game as Mario Kart 6. Um, I personally... I mean, that's spooky, right? We're st- yeah, we're scared now. I get, I get, yeah, that's I really know. scary. There's no sure. Six is the scariest number. I just don't. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it turned out the DS cartridge is full of the most butt slimingest porn I've ever seen. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> dudes putting it in dudes. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I personally didn't know what Mario Kart DS's introduction screen looked like, so I couldn't compare them, but I proved myself wrong. You see, that detail was important. (laughs) See, it came back. That's that's good writing. I'm so sorry. You're right. (laughs) The game wasn't fake. Mario Kart 6. That was the game itself. (laughs) I would have normally turned the DS off and sent the game back straight away. But the appearance of the introduction has drawn me into some sort of curious hurricane. (laughs) (laughs) It's a pretty good band name, actually. (laughs) Curious hurricane? Yeah, yeah. I couldn't stop spinning. My parents were mad at me all the time. I was expelled from school. Just want to know what would happen if I kept spinning. (laughs) I wanted to see more, just to see, out of curiosity, what it was like. So I was why amazed. Why do you want to see more? Because I was a curious hurricane. <laughs> why are you playing the DS while spinning around? <laughs> I'm the Tasmanian devil if he went to college. <laughs> I was amazed. Starting from the one player option, I instantly chose Waluigi. Oh, I had yeah. noticed that it didn't give me the options of what card I wanted. It was already loading. Zero stars. <laughs> that was when I saw Waluigi on the screen, just standing there, waiting for my commands, like an actual 3D-style Mario game. Um, <clears throat> Mario game was a different Mario game. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Mario game was a Wario Luigi game. <laughs> it was a sandbox. Ooh. With the... <laughs> With the freedom of exploring. I mean, to be fair, for a whole, seemingly for a large portion of the internet, a game being a slightly different kind of game is the worst thing that could ever happen. That is, that so. is true. It's true. It's true. The Do the Steam forums with me. <laughs> <laughs> I made him move around as if unbelieving what I was seeing. As if. Felt a, as if. As and if. I felt a smile glow on my face. <laughs> The game was already awesome. <laughs> was starring in his own game, as corny as that sounds. Wow, I can make a move. <laughs> but I was so pleased of buying this game. It looked official enough. Perhaps it was a Japanese game that wasn't supposed to be in England. Oh, this was, I'm sorry, English accent. <laughs> no, or... <it> was... <laughs> yeah, that was my English accent. Yeah. Or... <laughs> Or maybe it wasn't even supposed to be anywhere. (laughs) But each time I turned on my game save data, something seems to have changed. (laughs) My DS actors were struggling to load my save data. There came a point where the loading screen was now nothing but a black screen. That's called your DS isn't turning on. (laughs) Also, I dropped my DS, but that was unrelated. (laughs) I stared at the top screen. The blackness was nothing but a void, but soon a message appeared in its typical white Mario-themed font. Why did you choose me, Wario girl? Speak. Also, I guess I know your online name. (laughs) (laughs) That was the message. (laughs) Beside the message was the racing icon of Waluigi, just grinning. The icon was grinning? Yeah, <laughs> like icon isn't is grinning. isn't the Waluigi icon like a W? Was the W grinning? It's probably like <laughs> well, like actually, them and then Mario Kart DS. Yeah. Never mind. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for bringing it up. I apologize. Backing out of the room. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? I have so much more to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I stuttered for a moment. I named my DS after my username, so it shook me a little without realizing. There was no way of typing anything, and I was alone, so a little too drawn to the game, I obeyed it. 
It's because I love you, I replied honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a love story. I love I love stories. I love you, video game. Let's kiss. <laughs> oh, it's a chick flick. <laughs> For a time. <laughs> For a time, nothing happened. The screen flushed into blackness again. I blinked. Then he spoke to me again. Something that tore at my throat. Liar. <laughs> this, the writing this time was crooked and red. The appearance of it startled me, but the message made my heart stop. How could my own BS and fictional character call me a liar? <laughs> but they the weren't message. even alive. <laughs> Not even you. To be continued. <gasps> oh, oh no, man! You've got more to say. I can't mm -hmm. wait. <laughs> My God, Tommy, like, all life doesn't be a road. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Blue video game balls. Um, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Um, uh, the next story, uh, Bump Girl. You got that one. Uh, and it is called Survivor Detroit, and the um, <laughs> the the creator of the story uh, used as his avatar an actual photo of him. <laughs> Which <laughs> sure wasn't the best idea. I don't know. But oh, I guess, no. Uh, oh no! Oh no! No, that's unfortunate. Oh, so uh, no. <laughs> so um, uh, Survivor Detroit, Bump Girl, take that, please. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I hope that's not the actual address. Like, that looks like an address. Shh, it's fine. <laughs> okay, good. No, it's um, not, no. So, Survivor Detroit by minor failing? Uh, <laughs> sure. Or minor yeah. failing by Survivor Detroit. No, minor no, the story is called Survivor Detroit. chapter in Survivor Detroit. Yeah. My name <laughs> is Harold Darby. And I think that I might not be on this earth tomorrow. I know this title sounds like it is going to be a completely lame thing about that reality show, but this time I seriously think that this is hor horrifying. <laughs> Last time, guys, I said it was going to be horrifying, and it wasn't, but this guy, time, guys, I seriously think it's horrifying. Like, I'm, I'm like sure it will, honey. I'm sure it will be fun. Like, more horrifying than the Survivor series that was uh, Gen X versus Millennials. <laughs> that was pretty horrifying. So I was flipping through the channels and tread across the new Survivor show, and it said it was going to take place in Detroit. That hooked my interest, as that was not typical of these shows. <laughs> I watched it. Yay! The wow. Wow. Oh, sorry, sorry. TV show. This is intense pacing. Wow. The people on the teams, which had been named something finally good, the Insomni <laughs> and the Grey. Good, huh? Good. Those are okay. <laughs> In after parentheses, I also noticed that nobody was really attractive. Oh, wow. <gasps> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. The true horror. <laughs> However, I continued watching. The Somehow, I pulled up the strength to keep watching. Was for each team to repair a house faster. Then... Wait, what's this? What? Just, just increasingly <laughs> faster. Just as <laughs> time Excellent. goes on, they just get faster and faster. <laughs> In that one gray one. That's actually spelled two different ways for spelling one. Insomni lost mainly because one of the guys fell off the roof and broke his leg. It was almost heartbreaking. When the voting happened, the next thing almost. I saw, I will not forget. The rest of the team voted on the guy who broke his leg. They then were handed baseball bats. The unfortunate man screamed in horror, but it was too late. Oh god, what they he did was horrifying. He had to play horrifying. baseball. Well, what, what, what did they do? What did they do? Ah, They had to make him they, play baseball. What did they do? Oh, I hate baseball. <laughs> they just all sort of converged on him, and his head was just smashed open. <laughs> just so, sort of converged on him. Much blood and brains and skull material. <laughs> I think I both puked and then fainted at the sight. <laughs> I think. I can't remember. Anyway, when I searched it, it up, memorable. the computer screen froze. 
which I have no idea how that links to or follows from everything we just read. <laughs> Suddenly the screen went black. I don't know which screen. Maybe it's the DS again. And then some weird words appeared in the center of the screen in small white text. Dash O C U O dash. I mean, oh, it's just a Windows. That's just a typical tell. Windows 98 error. That, that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's dash zero C U zero dash? Does that make it scarier if it's zeros? Ooh, no, no it doesn't. It's, it, it doesn't O's make it. Pronounce ooh, but now it's like the void. Um, okay. I, I, this 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 is me reading the text again. I don't know what to do or who is seeing me. I think I'm done now. Please. I hope that there is a merciful God who will strike me with amnesia so this horrifying sight would not appear. Like, Honestly, like those the, are words on the page. I like the drawing that Travis did about she's a vampire bat followed by fuck, I hate I made that reference. <laughs> 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 it's the little dome of bald head. <laughs> is that the head behind the couch? Oh, it's a person watching TV, you see. Yeah, oh, oh, it is. Ooh, yeah, that yeah. was like the Jesus Sorry. coming out of the rabbit sort of thing. How horrifying, he <laughs> is says. Is that how it works? No, it's a duck and a rabbit and Jesus and dots. Okay. Well, there's one more line of the story. Okay. Cool. Bye. I hope I will still be alive to post again. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, TV tropes. <laughs> I did so it I realize... bed. Until the and very the end. computer writes a uh, creepy pasta called this. This ner complete nerd made a made a creepy pasta on me. <laughs> oh, there you go, Bumpo. Now, now you're getting a turnaround on uh, the watching TV. <laughs> is that you? He's got a little dirt stash. That's nice. <laughs> Maybe it's just Cheetos. Oh, and a big Don't chance. judge Lemon. It could be Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we are going to be moving on from the uh, the uh, prose uh, section of Creepypasta to the poetry <laughs> section of Creepypasta. Cool. And um, you know what? I, I gave you I gave you one talk, but I'm going to give you this one instead. Ooh. Um, this is uh, Creepy Poppy Post. Fuck. God. Creepy Pasta <laughs> Poems. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> what Creepy is this stupid poems. thing called? It's called Happy Appy, the happy appetizer, <laughs> only at Applebee's. <laughs> what? It's called Happy Appy Bees. <laughs> Hello, my name is Radical Imps. This is a free verse poem called uh, Happy Appy. Great. Anyway, Happy Happy Happy. Happy Happy Happy. <laughs> The mm -hmm. apple that teaches the kitties, the <laughs> apple that reaches into the hearts, the apple with the van will, where he'll take you away, the apple that speaks like a man. What? Okay, this is actually frightening. <laughs> this is the first thing yeah. that's scary. <laughs> An apple that can drive a van? <laughs> <laughs> While speaking to you? Like, this is some serious LSD shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Happy Appy was kicked off Nick. Happy Appy got very ticked. <laughs> Appy sold his episode so he can play with you behind his window windowless van and leave you by the road. <laughs> nice happy Steve going on here. <laughs> happy Appy. Happy Appy, the apple on a metal stick. The hap the apple from heel and horror. <laughs> The apple with a chainsaw. Oh, God. Mama, what I saw when I was at that studio. <laughs> what? Is that kick up, right? That's supposed to be like Netflix and stuff. Happy Appy name. knows my name. Happy Appy thinks this is just a game. Happy Appy. Happy. Oh, God, just run. <laughs> That is the best advice ever heard on an F Plus episode. So stupid. <laughs> oh my god, it's based on another creepy pasta. Wait, this is the derivative oh. work? Yeah, and it's, it's based it's a poem based on another pasta called Happy Happy. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh I didn't no. Commons license uh, properly. There's a picture. 
Uh, there is a picture. <laughs> <laughs> the very, the very last section that we have here um, is that picture uh, is very nearly exactly what Travis is drawing. Exactly. <laughs> is. Yeah. No, it really, really is. Wow. Uh, oh no! <laughs> How did he know? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> uh, the very last section that we have here um, is. Oh my uh, god, this is really long. <laughs> the really the uh, last section that we have here, uh, yeah, uh, forty three pages. Uh, so thank you, Fabi wow. Dan. Um, okay. Uh, so we have some advice on how you can make your own creepy pasta OC. Oh boy! Cool. So uh, so so Zarla, uh, uh -huh. scroll down there to page uh, thirty five. Thirty five. Uh, how to make a creepy pasta OC? Let's see. Uh, okay, thirty five. Thirty five. You 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 are yes. a zombie punk rat, and you've got some tips. Okay. <clears throat> Here are some tips on creating an awesome creepypasta OC, but go off your own opinion. Of course, these are just my opinions. Uh, if it's a human, don't give them animal features, tails, ears, etc. <laughs> don't, no, don't. don't give your OC fangs. That's not scary. <laughs> don't make them acute. They're creepypastas. <laughs> Try your best to not make it look like yourself. It's <laughs> no matter how terrifying you may look. But what if I'm super creepy? <laughs> Please resist the temptation. It's too easy. Hello, I'm middle-aged Uncle the Creepy Pasta. <laughs> it's too restrict. It's too restricting in making a character based off of someone who actually exists. Real also, people aren't libel. creepy at all. <laughs> <laughs> Read your favorite creepy pauses and include the characteristics you enjoy in that story into your character. Write Copy poems about them. If need be. <laughs> <laughs> creepy pasta. Don't, steel. don't go overboard or underboard. Try to make them in between. Give them strengths and weaknesses. Don't make them invincible and don't make them just really sad all the time. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> this includes physical features. But there are sad only physical extreme. features. I'm sad because I murdered you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give oh, them multiple geez. attitudes and moods. Yeah, okay, right. <laughs> Make sure what they have a reason. <laughs> angry, killy, I don't know. <laughs> to be fair, but, if the uh, Twilight author had followed the last few points, they might have created a character. <laughs> Children's nursery rhyme. That was her intent. <laughs> to create, no. 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 <laughs> Make sure they have a reasonable and awesome motive. <laughs> like haunting a video game, I guess. Exactly. Awesome. <laughs> awesome motive. Wow, Creepy so <laughs> reason for killing, bro. <laughs> Creepy pastas are not anime, so don't make them anime characters. Just <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's gonna take you to court about that. Give them okay. Give them a kink. Something that is unique to only them. Don't make them generic. Yeah. Don't make Somebody them doesn't generic. know what that word means. Like a happy apple. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're missing out. Also, don't copy already existent characters. Like the point Waluigi. <laughs> No, he's evil, Waluigi. The point of making a character is to be creative and new, but they can have similar characteristics to other characters. Look, I think Slender Man wearing a diaper is creative and new. That's just your opinion. I, my opinion is the best, so fuck you. Oh, it said to give God. them a kink, so I did it. Why? Don't blame me. <laughs> Decide what kind of creepy possibly you want your character to be, such as a killer, stalker, inhuman creature, animal-like creature. I thought they couldn't have tails or ears. Ghost, demonic, spirit, proxy, etc. A proxy? A pro <laughs> etc. Hmm. Okay. Like a proxy server? <laughs> proxy I assume so. Yeah, it's a haunted VPN. Oh, no. <laughs> if you need help, just tap into your own fears and make your character you yourself would fear. I've routed Read your traffic. Again. No. I want to hear all those yous. <laughs> if you need help, just tap into your own fears and make your character you yourself would fear. Skip just a tiny little bit. Let's go to uh, give them a deep background. <laughs> give them a deep ba give them a deep background. This only includes stalkers and killers, but you can always give a background to other creatures. 
So do it or don't do it. I don't only, care. Don't only but hurt. always. <laughs> Give the a traumatic childhood, whether it be an abusive family, early death of family, orphaned, kidnapped, etc. Yeah. And then just don't do anything, but just do it. Yeah, but, yeah, but avoid tropes, obviously. Yeah, of course. After this, I suggest you give them an event or multiple events that push them over the edge of sanity. So basically, until they snap. Give I suggest them a bunch of fetch quests. Yes. <laughs> I suggest writing. <laughs> I suggest writing this into a story to share if you wish for your character to gain popularity. This will not happen overnight. It takes a long time. You just have to remain committed. So if you want your character to get popular, you have to write it down on paper and show it to people. I don't. <laughs> that doesn't follow to me. Gross. Also, if you're really eager to get your character popular, I suggest drawing them a lot, writing about them a bunch, cosplaying, or even make their story into a comic. Good luck. Yay! Make content. Who makes content nowadays? <laughs> content. Ugh. It's for chumps. Oh, do we learn anything from this? Do we learn anything? I love creepy puns. <laughs> I have a haunted yeah, phone that keeps saying that uh, Bernie would have won. <laughs> well, that's just episodes of Chapo. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, thank you very much to Puppy Time. Uh, we are coming back with uh, most of the people uh, that we got here. Um, we've got oh well, we've got we've got uh, Kumquat Stops coming back, uh, and. Yay. Uh, it is time for our second battle, our second battle of the night. Uh, if you were here, if you were here earlier in the night, uh, you might remember that we had a battle between. Oh, hi, Jimmy Franks. He just logged in PayPal and a skeleton popped out. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you might remember that our previous battle uh, was between F plus sings and F plus raps. Uh, this is a slightly different battle. Uh, this battle is between uh, acne lovers or r slash coming out figurines. Mm. <laughs> We're going right back into gross territory. So uh, that's uh, that's two hours from now. So that's uh, that's in the hour twelve. Uh, Francis, Francine, Kelly is coming up next. Uh, but if you are interested in acne lovers, uh, you should donate uh, and using. Uh, the word zits in your comment. Uh, <laughs> and if you are interested in, in um, uh, oh, fuck, what the hell was it? Uh, if you're interested in coming on figurines, uh, you should use dolls. So zits <laughs> versus dolls. They're not uh, dolls, they're figurines. Of course. I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, so we will be coming uh, back at you in just a couple minutes. Uh, so stick around. <laughs> And uh, stretch your legs and um, whatever. Go pee. Erase your brain. Go pee. Get up. Get up and dance. Get up and dance. Go boom. Get up and move. <laughs> You've got to move. Step in line. Groove. Map it out time. Got to move it. Move it. <laughs> I got to get diaped up. <laughs> I don't know if we're still streaming. I hope we're not. Are we still streaming? <laughs> I think we're still streaming. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. 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 Oh